Today, we're going to go over how to fix your PTFE line hot end that's commonly found on many printers, including Creality, Soval, Sunloos, and any Cubics. So on many of the hot ends on the 3D printers, they have what are called PTFE line hot ends. In my hand here, I have a Creality hot end, and you can see how wide the heat break is in the center here, which indicates that it's a PTFE line hot end. Now, while these hot ends do make it easier to print materials because the filament doesn't stick to the heat break because it's got the PTFE tube in there, the common problem with them is that the fittings that go on the top of these do not hold the tubing in, and also when they're assembled at the factory, they don't always assemble it correctly. So today I'm going to take apart the hot end on my Sunlu S8 Pro and I'm going to show you guys what happens when the PTFE tube is not fully inserted. We're actually going to stick a little endoscope camera down into the heat break and you'll be able to see the filament that's balled up between the PTFE tube and the back of the nozzle. In addition to making sure that the PTFE tube goes all the way down to the back of the nozzle into the melt zone in the heater block here, we also want to make sure that the PTFE tube is cut correctly. If the end of the PTFE tube has any sort of angle in it, that can also cause a void. Whenever you're dealing with PTFE tubes, you should use a PTFE cutter like this to make sure that the end is actually flat and there's no angle on it. So we're going to cut over to the printer head right now. We're going to heat the hot end up this so we can get the tubing out. And then we're going to take a look down there and show you the void. After that, we're going to show you how to clear that void and properly tighten down the tubing into the hot end using the PTFE fitting. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do to check if we have a void between our PTFE tube and the nozzle is heat this up to 110 degrees. And we're going to let that get up to temp and then we're going to pull the fitting and the PTFE tube. So now with the nozzle at temp, we're going to go ahead and remove the PTFE fitting. If you have any zip ties within six inches of this PTFE fitting, go ahead and snip those because we want to be able to pull this out. So now with the PTFE fitting loose, go ahead and pull straight up. And you can see there, there's a little bit of a bulb on the end, and we're going to take a look down the hot end right now to see if we can see plastic where it shouldn't be. So with my little endoscope camera here, if we put this down the heat break, we can actually see the filament, which is a tan filament, balled up there. We ideally should see the back of the nozzle, but in this case, you can see we have a void of filament between the PTFE tube and the nozzle, so this will cause all sorts of issues with extrusion. So now since we know we have a void in here, we're going to need to take the PTFE fitting off the tube here. So press down on the locking tab, and if it won't move down, kind of slide it up and then go fast. So now put the PTFE fitting back into the hot end all the way. So with the fitting in there, we're going to tell the hot end to go to 240 degrees, and we want to send it that high so that the filament that's stuck in there will become viscous, so when we shove this down in here, it will push it out through the nozzle. While we're waiting for that to heat, I would recommend just taking a PTFE cutter and cut just a little bit off, and you can see here, the tube is actually at a slight angle from the factory. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and just cut this so it's flat, and then once the hot end's at 240 degrees C, we're gonna push this all the way in. Now before we push this all the way in, go ahead and give this a quarter turn counterclockwise. So now with our hot end at 240C, you're going to want to take the PTFE tube and shove it all the way down until it stops and keep pushing just a little bit and you should see filament coming out of the nozzle. We look down here, you can see I'm getting filament coming out, which means I'm pushing that void into the nozzle and keep pushing like this until it stops coming out. So now that the filament has stopped coming out, whenever we push on this, we can go ahead and tighten the PTFE fitting down. And this is going to force the tubing up against the back of your nozzle. If you did remove any zip ties from up here, go ahead and replace them. At this point, we've now reseated the PTFE tube up against the back of the nozzle so we don't have a void anymore and your extrusion issues should be solved. So now with all the work done, I'm going to go ahead and tell my extruder to push some filament out and we're just going to verify that we see filament coming out of the nozzle here. And we're flowing nice and smooth. 
So as you can see, it's not that hard to go ahead and fix the hot end if you do have an issue with the PTFE tube backing out and creating a void. Now this can happen due to assembly issues at the factory or just wear and tear over time and the fitting releasing. Now if you need new PTFE fittings or PTFE tubing, we do carry those in our shop and I'll put links in the video description below. And one of the other things I do recommend is if you constantly have issues with this or you don't ever want to deal with this problem anymore, you can swap out the heat break in here with what's called an all metal heat break. So this piece here would replace this heat break and on this particular hot end, you would unbolt these two screws, loosen up this grub screw and drop this out and we'll have a video showing how to do that on the channel later. If you guys want to actually see here with this blown up hot end version, this illustrates how the heat break works inside the heater block because we have a cutaway view here. So imagine this is the heat break that I just showed and this is our nozzle. You can see here that with the all metal heat break, you have a large mating surface between the heat break and the nozzle that's metal to seal up that gap. Whereas on the stock hot ends, this PTFE tube passes all the way down into here and then only has a little bit of metal for it to seal up. That's why it's essential that the fitting holds the tube all the way up against the back of the nozzle so it cannot create that void. So I hope this video was helpful and informative and shows you how to fix your hot end on your 3D printer. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and you can also contact us through our website by going to the contact us link at the top of our site. Thank you guys for watching and as always, happy printing.